Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and in this video I am going to talk to you about one of the most powerful features of PowerPoint which makes life so supremely easy for you which is the spell check feature. Yes, you can go ahead and make as many <laughs> spelling mistakes as you want and this spell check feature will always be there to assist you. In fact, somehow I believe that I have actually uh, stopped caring about the spellings. I know because <laughs> Microsoft PowerPoint excellent word. These are such beautiful spell checks built in that they would take care of it. So let, let me tell you how to use it. So over here, see, I have written what can be done. So instead of one A, I mentioned double A. All right. Now it automatically shows a red line under this. If this is something shown by PowerPoint, which means that there is something wrong with this spelling. So what can be done? Either we can right click on it and it will show a right spelling. Okay, this means can and it says if you want it can ignore all and if you want that this is the a special word that Microsoft doesn't know. So then you can add it to the dictionary inbuilt dictionary. All right. There are other ways also you can press F7 this way all the spell check errors spelling spelling errors in all your slides would show up in this pane. So over here the word that is being shown is can is being highlighted here also you are getting the right spelling to use option and you can either ignore it ignore it ignore all means in case the same spelling issue happens in other slides also so you can choose ignore all and so all the other slides also would have the same spelling as can but there would be no red light red line under it and in case you want to add it to the dictionary in build dictionary you can and if you want to change it yes if you want to change all that means the spelling would be changed in all the slides that you have you can also choose to see the synonyms can can also be a container it can be a tin and it can be able to also which is the one we are referring to be able to all right and let, let, let's let's make a correction so let's say I click on change see it got changed this is how it was done I am pressing control plus the Z key to undo whatever I have done just to show you another option of doing it the other another option of doing it is going to the review tab clicking on the spelling feature and the same dialog box open which you can use all right well you can actually go to myelesson.org now and watch other videos that i made on powerpoint excel and word and learn more and until the next video this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning